Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good evening everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. Or I would better say another midnight show because it's again past midnight I believe. And uh, I'm, here I am filming videos trying to do it quick before I fall asleep. Uh, for this video I have to say a big 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 thank you to Rob kc 4 nyk uh, for sending me an email and he let me know about the issue that he discovered uh, when it comes to the um, uh, 700 milliwatts minimalist transmitter. We'll get here on the table in a little bit, I'll show you um, really quick what I'm talking about. But um, he tested the output because if you remember, if you read the article already, I was saying that I did not have a tiny SA uh, when I built this one and also it's the same story about the PTT call CW transmit, uh, transceiver um, to measure the output harmonics of, the, of this uh, simple transmitter and I wasn't sure if the filter does a good job or not really and uh, at that time I didn't really uh, thought about listening onto the second harmonic basically on the 14 megahertz to see if I can hear the transmission that I'm sending on on uh, 7 megahertz and uh, yeah it turns out that the simple Pi network filter that I have uh, used here in this simple transmitter doesn't seem to do such a good job basically it's the same filter that you find in the pixie cw transceivers and uh, you can imagine that probably those don't do such a good job either <laughs> so uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of modifications that you might be able to do uh, to the filter uh, to improve the, um, the results a little bit not sure how well i'm still waiting for a confirmation for from rob when he has the time to let me know if the modifications that i did uh, measured with the tiny SA are actually valid and there's something good in this or not uh, or probably any of you guys that might uh, have a tiny SA and you have the time to build maybe just this simple uh, CW transmitter because it's very simple just a handful of parts you can build it really quick uh, and measure the, the output harmonics and let me know if it uh, if it works or not so yeah, uh, there you go. You keep learning, doesn't matter how much you learn, there's still something new to learn. And this is the beauty of this hobby. So uh, anyway, let's get really quick on the computer. I'll show you what I've done uh, with uh, some computer simulations. You know how much I hate this, but sometimes apparently they're very useful. Uh, not sure how much of the simulation will turn into reality when it comes to practice, because sometimes, uh, or actually most of the time, I do know, that uh, what we have on the computer might not be the same in reality because of course on the computer everything it's uh, it's like a the perfect environment and in reality uh, the components are not perfect as the computers imagines uh, them to be so uh, yeah let's get on the computer i'll show you what i've done here and then we'll get to the practice practical part and uh, we'll do some um, measurements on this one some measurements uh, I would better say some testing and I'll show you what I mean by that. If you want to build beautiful homebrew projects, choose PCB Way. With excellent PCB prototyping services, all you have to do is to open your account on PCB Way, use the software of your choice to design your PCB board, upload the Gerber files and place your order. Soon you will receive your professional and great quality PCB boards for your projects. PCB Way also offers PCB assembly services. SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing, and even more. PCB way is the way. So basically over here we have the standard Pi network filter, which is basically the same that you find in the, in the Pixie transceivers, uh, which is uh, basically a 470 picofarads capacitor, uh, one microhenry inductor, and another 470 picofarads capacitor. Now, if we go into the plot, over here we can see the filter response if we're going somewhere around 7.2 megahertz 7.3 somewhere around here we'll see how the filter uh, works and then if we go to the 14 megahertz mark 14.6 somewhere around there we can see that it's not even uh, minus d uh, 10 db of attenuation 
so clearly the filter was not doing such a great job now let's go and uh, change the schematic really quick what i'm going to do here i'm going to change the topology of this stage and i'm going to add one more capacitor uh, and the test that i've been doing was with the 120 picofarads capacitor and the value of the inductor i will leave it the same for now and uh, yep that's it now let's go again to the plot and look at the filter now so basically again this is somewhere around 7.03 megahertz and let's say where is the 14 megahertz 14.6 which would technically be the <coughs> second harmonic 57 come on so it's nearly minus 40 db but it's still not minus 40 db uh, basically if i'm playing around with the value of the capacitor i would put maybe 130 picofarads and i go back to the plot let's see where i am mine uh, 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 14.057 so basically right now i'm under minus 50 db i don't know how well this will be achievable in practice but that would be amazing but then of course i don't know about the third harmonic and fourth harmonic and whatever uh, the next ones <clears throat> how those will react so uh, talking about the simple uh, CW transmitter, by the way, um, I decided to uh, test this one just because when we go to the Pititico CW transceiver and uh, some while ago, again, I was talking about the W80B uh, CW transceiver. Uh, they are all based on this simple CW transmitter, which these are basically a modified version of this one. And... Uh, what I ended up doing, and by the way, if you want to build this one, and if you go back to the to the video of this simple uh, transmitter, um, I'm going to add these details and change the schematic uh, soon on the blog and on the on the PCB way uh, project files. But uh, what I did, I actually replaced the resistor with a 47 kilo ohms resistor, and I replaced the value of the inductor with 10 uh, micro henrys. And we, the, I did this before modifying the low pass filter on the output and the signal um, on, the, on the second harmonic basically on 14 megahertz uh, was a little bit lower which means that uh, before the oscillator was somehow having some sort of distorted signal on the output and I believe technically and logically that's how it to my to my uh, <laughs> to my brain that's how things should work if that uh, if you have less distortion on the output then technically the harmonics should be a little bit uh, uh, better uh, once the signal is cleaner so i believe the more dirty is the signal on the output the more harmonics that you're going to have or the stronger harmonics will be basically so anyway, um, I noticed an improvement on uh, 14 megahertz. The signal was a lot lower after I did those modifications. So now after adding this uh, capacitor in parallel with the inductor, probably is going to be even better. So anyway, I'm going to connect the true SDX really quick. We'll get to listen to it and see uh, if there's any improvement or not. But I tell you one thing before doing all the modifications, um, it was pretty much like not having a filter at all. Uh, it was uh, on 14 megahertz, which is basically the second harmonic. It, the signal strength was nearly the same as it is on uh, 7 megahertz. Such a shame. So anyway, let's uh, connect the True SDX and listen to it and uh, see if there's any improvement. So here we are. I connected the simple transmitter to a dummy load over here through a coax cable. I powered this one with 12 volts, I'm powering the True SDX with 9 volts, but I better not press the PTT button because I didn't connect it any dummy load over there. I'm on 7029 MHz because that's the frequency this transmitter. It's uh, 
it's uh, transmitting on even though I'm using a um, 7.030 uh, uh, megahertz crystal um, by the way the problem might be fixed by adding probably somewhere around 47 picofarads from the crystal to ground instead of connecting the crystal straight to ground and then it will transmit straight on 7030 megahertz so I might update the PCB board of this um, um, of this transmitter when I'm going to also create a space for the for the extra capacitor over there I might add a space for the uh, capacitor over here uh, probably I will do something similar to what I have here in the Pixie uh, in the Pititico because this is why that th this is why I'm using this simple um, uh, trimmer capacitor to be able to adjust the frequency that it will transmit straight on 7030 MHz which is the QRP calling frequency and I might do the same thing over here in order to fix that issue so anyway, let's, uh, I uh, turned off the AGC control, oh, by the way, on the TrueSDX so now I'm going to transmit on f uh, 7 MHz ah, I should get a little bit closer with the microphone so you'll be able to, to hear it Okay, now uh, let me move really quick on 14 megahertz and I'm going to go a little bit lower and I'm going to try um, actually it would be 5.8 I believe let's uh, let me put the microphone closer to the transceiver again and try to transmit and see if there's any improvement on the signal strength actually lower <laughs> I, I, I need a lower um, signal strength on 14 megahertz so I don't know if you heard that <clears throat> but the signal strength is a lot lower I don't know if it's under minus 40 dB as it should be but uh, hopefully somebody will be able to measure this with a tiny SA um, and let me know if it is or not <laughs> anyway um, yeah apparently uh, by ear it seems to do a good job uh, but now uh, probably some proper measurement equipment uh, would be a lot better uh, to tell us if it does or not so anyway if you have a tiny SA and if you have the time to build uh, this simple CW transmitter and uh, you'll be able to measure it um, I also asked Rob if he has the time to, to do some measurements with this modification and let me know if it uh, does a good job or not but uh, if any of you guys uh, does it please let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll be very thankful because I'll be able to update all the older projects that I've done so far and also uh, to update the blog articles so everyone who built it uh, would have a proper signal on the output so anyway that's it for today thanks so much for watching um, I'll see you in the next video and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited that soon I'll be able to update uh, update the project files on PCB way with some new uh, PCB board designs so anyway, until the next video, uh, thank you for watching and 73 from Yanko Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo.